y a un élément, euh, il y a un élément euh, là je parle d'un élément de la technologie. There is one element in the Frogan's technology, I'm not talking about FSDL here, but this is a fundamental element and that's the Frogan's player because Frogan's sites are only available through the Frogan's player. So it's in Frogan's plan that you have a fro that you enter the Frogan's address and then you browse and you navigate in the fro and it's through this plan that you can navigate in the Frogan site. Would you allow me to I do not just allow you, I invite you to get a Frogan's plan and show us a true FSDL. So I'm back to the FSDL site, and of course I have a link to the get.frogans, so I end up on this other site, which is get.frogans. So, you can access the Frogans player from this uh, website, whatever your platform, and if the Frogans player cannot be downloaded di directed because you have a mobile system that requires going through an app store, this page is going to reroute you to the relevant app store. So here, of course we're in a phase in which we are trying to finalize the versions with our users, so what's available? is a version of the Frogan's player for developers. Um, it's the alpha version. So that we can test the FSDL and make slides. And you can develop sites and, fl and slides locally, but without posting them online. Because at the moment we're still working on this version and the next step will be to provide hosting. So why did we do that this way? Well, first, because the most interesting part of the FSDL is the graphic part. This is where you need to collect, this is where we need and collect the last feedback to adjust the very final things and to obtain rendering at the nearest pixel, because one of the challenges to make sure that the authors have a guaranteed output at the nearest pixel. Here I'm going to do that on a Windows platform, but I want to have the same rendering on all other operating systems. So all this requires testing with users before this can be deployed to the uh, professional end to the end users. So, the dynamic part of the Frogan site is not as complex to develop as the graphic part, because the graphic part requires rendering in different languages. It also involves lots of computation. So we need to make sure that we have a perfect plan before we roll out. So this first alpha version of the Frogan's plan allows us to publish locally. So in the title, this is a non-install version. It's not installed on your computer. It's non-intrusive. All you need to do is download the application to unzip it and then you can start working with it if everything goes fine. So this version, so at the moment the version which is provided is for Windows and we have another one for Mac OS X. The Linux version was not finalized enough for us to make it available, otherwise it would have generated a lot of uh, useless feedback. So we, it will be provided in the near future, but it's not yet ready. Sorry for all of you using Linux. If you wanted to use the Frogan's player, you'll have to be with me on the Windows platform. 
which is something you're going to be very happy with. So status, that's the latest version. That's a preliminary version. La, la, la réserve justement sur le rendu à l'identique, donc c'est ce qu'on cherche. There is a note on the identical or the as is rendering for all platforms, but there can be some changes and between the sites that you're going to design today and those that you will be uh, looking at in 15 days or in two months' time, there might be uh, some differences for a few pixels, and that's okay. Uh, of course, you need to sign up for the mailing list announcement because that's the only way the OP3F can communicate with the community. It's for free. There are very few messages, but when there are messages, there are important messages, and they give you information when a new version is available, for instance. So this player that we are launching today is not for the audience at large. It's for developers, for those of you who want to contribute and develop the Frogans technology through the designing of the FSDL and the Frogans player. These contributions are made uh, within the framework of the uh, OP3FT contributors charter, which uh, you can read. and. The feedback that we're looking for through this operation is to obtain feedback about the language itself. I think we've reached a maturity level in the language. But the developers made comments about the rules for the applicability of the attributes so with regards one to another and this is interesting and this will be taken into account in the last version and what's important is that with the Frogan site the rendering engine allows doing many things including things which could be boring for the end users so the FSDL language allows composing slides which can be one pixel. So, okay, it's fun, but it's not much fun for the end user who can forget that your site is present on a screen. So the FSDR has introduced Frogan slide rendering constraints and these are rules that and once the two canvases are rendered, we enforce a certain number of rules in order to make sure that there is nothing terribly boring for the users, such as a website, a site which is far too small to be visible when open on the screen, or a site on which the buttons are so big that you cannot move it anymore. So, of course, the that would be damageable for the usability uh, uh, nature of the of the Frogan site. So there are rules that will be implemented automatically. So the version we have today does not implement any rendering constraint. So maybe you'll end up with things which won't be accepted in their final version. And as for the player itself, we can suggest improvement. You can suggest improvement with regards to the player itself or report any errors you may discover. This is an alpha version. Our development team is present in the room and of course they did explain that this had to be regarded as an alpha version and not as a beta version. This is a version that needs to be manipulated with caution. It won't damage your computer, but it can not work very well on certain aspects. So should you see a dysfunctioning, please report these mistakes so that uh, these errors can be corrected for the next version. And of course, you can also uh, make general comments or use the platform for comments. So the Windows version I'm uh, displaying right now 
Um, there's a Mac version which is available as a matter of fact as well. It's the same page running on Mac. So, as you can see, the operating systems that are required are, um, are many, and in terms of hardware resources, it's uh, again quite standard and quite low actually. So, I think we're almost coming to the end. Um, we're going to go ahead and download, but I think it was important to give you this preliminary information so as to give you a clear picture. So, some release information. I think this is pretty standard, things we've said before. Um, one of the known issues, um, this has changed in the very last versions, but um, we did identify um, a little bit of sl uh, slowness. Um, the frequent player, player has not been fully optimized, uh, but eventually this will happen. So, the speed, do, do not use this one to uh, assess the speed of the tool. So, let's proceed and download <coughs> this software for the first time. Um, I, I may not be the first person to download, uh, but it, it certainly is the first time for me. So, this is, all this is happening live. The development team, um, as we said earlier, OP3FT is not a very big team. We're ta talking about 30 people, approximately 10 doing development. The 20 others are doing both promotion and protection. We have our legal people uh, as well. Uh, we have some admin people as well. So the developers, there, there are actually less than 10 people. They've worked hard uh, last night and this morning to make it available for today because we had this, uh, you know, conference, the, the, the commitment of the conference. So they've uh, done a lot of hard work. Keep in mind, it is an alpha uh, version. Keep that in mind. It's not by no means perfect. So if you're a user, make sure you get back to us with your feedback. Again, we would like to thank you for doing this in advance. And I would like to thank our developers. Thanks, guys, for making uh, the Frogans Player uh, Alpha version available for today. So today is going to be your opportunity, our opportunity, to actually see the FSDL and not just talk about it. So let me... Um, Open it up. I think it's here. Let me go find it where it downloaded. I want to be asked where to download the picture, uh, the, the file. That way I can put it on my desktop. C'est une archive donc qui euh, est compressée avec euh, So it's the 7 zip algorithm which has been used to compress um, the 7 uh, zip is available so let me just uh, unzip extract here extract there we go so i am unzipping and uh, so the archive is now in uh, this directory. Um, as you can see, there are several things inside. We have a readme, we have frogansplayer.exe, we have uh, a binary. Uh, and uh, the, the player comes with uh, third party software uh, fonts as well that are included in uh, these folders. We have the test folder, which is empty right now. But we're going to put stuff in there. Um, so let me uh, start the Frogans player. 
peut apparaître et ici une pastille. And as you can see, we have this little icon which popped up. Et en fait, je viens de faire apparaître donc so, Frozen's Player sur mon écran. Frozen's Player is right on my screen. Sur l'ordinateur, enfin sur la version Mac, hein, donc on so, a. So on your Mac, you would see exactly the same thing. La représentation de Frozen's Player sur tous les ordinateurs. So this is how Frozen's Player is represented on desktop. So by clicking right on that little. Uh, le bouton contextuel, je peux faire apparaître. Donc, Making right click, you can see, you can open frozen site, you can. You have different uh, options. Um, open frozen's player, exit. So at this point, I'm not going to do much because I haven't developed a frozen site. So before I use it, I actually have to do some work.